No! Oh my god. Leave him! Hello everybody, Venom Lion here and welcome to another episode of the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Now, today, it might surprise you, but we're actually going to continue the Fire's Guild questline. Crazy, right? So, during the last episode, we went to Burr's in Chain Hall and completed the Fugitives quest. So now we're going to see our boy here, Be Azan. Work, are you? I've got one last contract for you. Oh. First, though, a bit of bad news. Orain spoke with Velena about your last mission. Ooh. She didn't take the news well. Orain has been expelled. And I'm sorry to do this, but you've been demoted to Defender. You'll be fine, though. What? Look, I can't promote you. Not now. You'll need to get some contracts completed, and then I can do it. Okay, so what Azan has been uh, talking about now, if you don't remember, uh, we've been on a, qu uh, on a quest where we found Verenus' uh, corpse, uh, which is Belena's son, only remaining son. Well, was her only remaining son. Rip. Uh, and yeah, Oren basically had sent both her kids to death basically so our boy is expelled and we've been demoted like the hell i don't want to get demoted i want to be promoted anyway azan what do you got for us today i've only got one more thing on my plate for you but it's an important one the stone of saint alessia has been stolen from bruma chapel oh the stone of saint alessia saint alessia is a very important lore character i don't know if you're religious but a lot of folks are and the stone is important. Talk to Sirach and Bruma. He'll fill you in on the details. All right. Talk to Sirach about that contract. Maybe That's what I'll do, Azan. Okay, so Saint Alessia. Uh, I don't know all the details. Uh, I never read about her specifically that much. Uh, but I know saint alessia is one of the reasons why the amulet of kings exists in the first place i think she's really like an important figure in the creation of the first empire if i'm not mistaken like the Roman cyrodiil one uh if i'm not mistaken well okay now where do i need to go because uh, the quest markers says outside but i don't see where outside i need to be over there. Oh, in Bruma. He, he, oh. Burr. Okay. Okay. Who will help an old beggar? Not me. All right. Uh, <laughs> that was kind of. Uh, anyway. Uh, I think it's our first time in Bruma. Right? I think it is. I like Bruma. Um, and actually, like. There's a mod for Skyrim that came out like a couple of months ago or weeks ago now. It's called uh, Beyond Skyrim Bruma and you get to go visit Bruma and it is just amazing. In fact, uh, my background, uh, my, my, my background, my wallpaper currently is this image. I will just show you guys like this, right, this image right there of uh, the screen. But the one that I took in the Beyond Skyrim Bruma mod with the magic of editing, I'll show that to you right now. And yeah, like basically it's it's so awesome to get to revisit um Cyrodiil in the Skyrim engine. Uh props to the team of modders that did that mod. That I know like how much work it is to build something new from the ground up because I'm working uh, in games. Uh, yeah, it, it was a really fun mod. I really liked it a lot. And one of my only downsides about that mod is that I just wanted to go everywhere in Cyrodiil. Hey, I'm Tolgan, herald to Countess Narina Carvane here in Bruma. She requests your company at your earliest convenience.
What's this regarding? Countess Carbane would prefer if you speak to her in person. She also said to present you with this stipend as a taste of things to come. Money? My lady holds court from 8 in the morning Money? until 6 in the evening each day. That would be the best time to see her. Got 25 gold. Wow. Wow. Okay. She got my attention. All right. Countess Carvain. The Countess is in attendance. For yeah, if okay. If you wish to seek audience with her, please return at that time. You're also welcome to wait anywhere in the Great Hall. Good day. <laughs> Boy, I wait everywhere I goddamn want. That's like my trademark move. All right. So that's clearly a side quest, uh, which we won't do right away, though. Because uh, we need to complete this contract first. Alessia, hear our prayer. Greetings, my friend. You must be from the Fighters Guild. We appreciate your help. Oh, we can ask him a cure for vampirism. Don't mind if I do. A cure? You mean besides death? Haha. <laughs> Such a thing is beyond our control. The body is so warped by vampirism, few would be able to revert its effects. Even fewer would care to try. The Guild of Mages might know more. Speak with Reminus Polis. He may be able to guide you. Okay, so Reminus Polis is the Mages Guild Archmage, which is basically like the highest title you can have in the Mages Guild. Uh, so, all right, so at least like, you didn't give us an answer, but at least we have the, the quest now that we can track to cure ourselves from this wretched disease. So I'm happy about that. All right, the Stone of St. Alessia. It said the stone was blessed by Alessia herself. And while it remains in our possession, no harm may come to our church. The relic was stolen from us not long ago. A group of men was seen leaving the chapel the night the stone was stolen. We believe they were bandits. Okay, what about the bandits? From all accounts, there were four or five of them. And they've been seen heading east on the road. Please, find the stone of St. Alessia. Alright, alright. Chill, my man. Find the stone, I, please. I will do just that. First, though... Let me get a blessing from the altar of the nine. Rejoice! Through faith, your afflictions are banished. All right. Uh, this basically removes diseases, I think. Or any, like, long-lasting harmful effects that you may have on your character. So, like, yeah, sure. Like, there's no reason not to do it. All right, so we should be really near the location that we need to go there. That's not very far at all. And it's a mine, if the compass uh, at the bottom of the, of the screen is to be believed. That's a lonely boy in the wilderness there. You are highly suspicious, my man. I hate my life. Hey, don't we all, my man? This <laughs> is Don't we all? So, I assume you're the one who's been sent to track us down. Damn stone was more trouble than it was worth. Okay. Stone of St. Alicia. We stole it. I won't try to hide that now. I'm all that's left now, though. We may have stolen the stone, but we weren't the last ones to do it. Oh. The lot of us got jumped by a bunch of ogres. Partial to pretty gems, it seems. I'm the only one that survived. If you want the stone, head to Cedar. Oh no. <sighs> Where's Cedar? It's not far from here. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Now just leave me. Ah, oh, boys, I ogres. Ogres are tough, man. Uh, oh, and it's quite far, too. Uh, we'll actually travel to Frostcrack Spire and then make our way there. Oh, not before crashing. And we're back. All right, so basically didn't lose any progress at all. Uh, I should definitely quick save every time I fast travel because I seem to crash 
a lot of time uh, in transitions, uh, whether it's from fast traveling or just entering a new building. And we have an Oblivion Gate right there. Which I'm not gonna do right now. Because that's not my focus right now. Rugax is one uh, really focused guy, you know? Like, focused orc. And right now, he wants to complete some Fire's Guild quests. So we should be nearing Sidor. Uh, which I think from the icon on the map there, man, this this is looking grim out here. Damn. Uh, yep, yeah, that's an Aelid ruin. So Sidor is one of those. And there seems to be a kid. Oh, sorry, horse. Yeah, we need to be careful because we don't want to kill him just by falling from too high. All right. Oh, there's a camp there. Let's just go and say hi to the bandits. Hey. Uh, also, I decided to equip the claymore. Just because uh, our blade skill is at uh, 41. Which is 14 lower than our blend skill. But uh, since it's lower, we'll level faster. And right now we want to uh, have some strength attribute increase uh, next time we level. And Blade will do just that. Also, it's one of our major skills, so it will help with leveling. And that, that Claymore is, uh... Does the trick. Really does. Alright. A hey, horse. Just wait for me, it won't be that long. I'm just gonna go and fight some ogres. And so we will try to be very careful in those ruins. Ah, because like one ogre is fine. Two though, I honestly don't think we can manage two ogres at once. Uh, Royal Curus. Resist poison 7% on self. Yeah, that's actually not good. With a name that, like that, though, I thought it was pretty good, but turns out it ain't. So, what can you do? Any uh, big boys here? Somewhere? Oh, yeah. I hear a big boy. Hey, big boy. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep, I, I love him. I love him. So with the Claymore though, we have a longer range, so like a two-handed weapon might be better against uh, ogres. Jesus. Okay, yeah, that was a half of our health there. And we have a big health pool though, like, we couldn't take those on if we hadn't focused on endurance that much so far during the playthrough. All right, so we got some stones here. I'm not gonna take the chainmail boots because uh, it's not worth the carry weight, basically. Yeah, so last time we encountered uh, ogres, we were fighting with a one-armed, uh, one-handed weapon, and they have less reach. So yeah, look at that. We figured them out. Easy, am I right? Damn, we're kicking ass, boys. We're kicking ass. All right. Uh, also, the claymore of the spell. Uh, that's the weapon we got from uh, Kylanos or something. The skooma dealer uh, in one of the uh, last episodes. Uh, yeah, basically, like, the enchantment on it was just to dispel um, the enemies that we attacked. Which basically does not that much. So, even if it's not enchanted anymore, no big deal. 
it will still hit for a fuck ton of damage. We need to go down there. Alright. That's a big boy. Let's just kite him. Just in case uh, he has a friend nearby. Come on, big brute. Can you not climb stairs, my man? Oh, no, he can. He can. He can. He definitely can. Alright, the range, though. The range. Hell yeah. Even ogres are no match for us now. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, so where do we want to go now? We have this path right there, uh, which leads further on. This seems to be the main path. I like to discover the side paths first. So let's go over here. Okay, this place seems kind of huge. Okay, so I'm on the second floor? Yeah. Okay, hey, I missed this chest, I think. Uh, hell yeah, I did. Uh, okay. Let's go back up real quick. Uh, that's an ogre right there. Come on, big boy. Come and meet your doom. Big hit. Okay, I'm getting cocky there. Alright. Alright. Yeah, two-ender does the job exceptionally well for them. We have so much range, you know, and they're so slow. That's good to know. Definitely good to know. Alright, so that was a dead end. Alright, we got a chest though. I never say no to chests, no matter how shitty they are. Hey boy. Hell yeah, we're playing him like a fiddle. Big final hit. Okay. Yeah, they hurt a lot, though. Big final hit. There we go. There we go. Another dead end. I love this place. I love this place. Love it. Alright, so yeah, let's try this other side path there. I think it's a side path. And then we'll be focusing on the main one. First though, let's repair. Because we need to output the maximum amount of damage that we can. Because these ogres... They're kind of a joke now that we figured like how to fight them, but still they pack a punch. And I really don't want to fight two of them at the same time. That would still be hard, I feel. Anybody home? You're a big dum dum. Yeah, power attacks are kind of risky. It's better to keep uh, keep our distance and just like have some uh, quick hits here and there. All right, so this place is uh, filled with uh, 
Space Ring of Firewalking. Resist fire 15% on self. I don't like that enchantment that much, but I like the price that ring will fetch us, though. Seven, uh, 755 gold. Hell yeah. That is some uh, nice pocket change there. Okay, so we can't go from... Can't go there now. I'm guessing this is the path to uh, return kind of close to the entrance. That's my uh, level design, level designer sense tingling there. Like I'm pretty sure that's what it, uh, it will end up being. So let's just go into the main path. Hello. Is that the stone? That's definitely the stone. Looks like a stone to me. All right. So what did that open? Did it open the the door that we were just in front of? That would be rich. I think that's exactly what it did. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, we can drop down. I'm frightened of uh, dropping down in those ruins now. Let's definitely push the button first. Oh, that's it. And the Stone of Saint Alessia. All right. I have found the Stone of Saint Alessia in Sidor. I should return it to Sirach at the Temple of Telos in Bruma. Yes. Can we equip it? No, it's not a... It's not an... Yeah, it's just an item. We can't equip it. Sad. All right. I'll see you guys at the entrance. And there's another Oblivion Gate there. All right. So that went way better than I expected. Uh, definitely. Like, those were big, uh, big ogres and we had not a care in the world. Awesome. That is just awesome. What is it? All right, Sirak, my man. I got your stone, your precious divine stone. Have you found it? Have you brought back the stone of Saint Alessia? Well, of course I did, my man. Ah, you found it. I can't thank you enough. Your work is greatly appreciated. Here, take these. I wish I could give you more. How much? Strong potions of healing? Okay. What do you train in? To teach you Restoration. Okay. That makes sense, though. You're kind of a priest. Noted. Alright, so let's go back to Azan. Let's quick save first, because I don't want to crash. Been crashing kind of a lot, uh, actually, in the past few uh, episodes. Like, it's on the edge of being a real nuisance and being just... Not that big of a pain, so. Yeah. Eh. Good to All right, see where's you. where are you, Azan? Look at the muscles on you. Well met. What's the status of the stone of Saint Alessia? Have you returned it to Sirach yet? Yes. Contract. Well done. You've put in good work for me. I only wish I had more. Things are a little mean right now, as I'm sure you know. Here's your payment. 200 go, let me guess. Come on. Yep, 200 go. Advancement? Look, I can't promote you. Not now. You'll need to get some contracts completed, and then I can do it. Come on. All right, you got another contract. I've got nothing more for you, my friend. I believe Burrs has one further assignment, but that is all. I wish you luck. All right, so I have the feeling that we're definitely nearing the end of the Fighters Guild because that I think that was the last contract from Azan. I think that's it. I think that's literally it. 
And the way he talked there, it seems like Burr's as one last contract for us. And then I'm guessing we're uh, gonna have some quests with our boy, Orin. Maybe. I don't know. I, 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 I kind of do know, though. Get, get out of my way, orphan. Jesus. I got places to be. Uh, I'm kind of lost, though. All right. All right, birds, my man. Give me the quest. I assume you're back for more work because I don't see a big need to chat with you. Well, fuck you too. I've got more for you. Important stuff, actually. You need to go talk to Lord Rugdumpf. Rugdumpf. He's an orcish noble, a fine man. Our families go back a bit. Oh. Anyway, his daughter is missing. Okay. Head to his estate and talk to him. Find his daughter and mind your manners. I don't want you embarrassing me. Lady Rugbutt. 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 Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. A fine model of an orcish woman. With a name like now that. Go find her and don't be rude or she'll rip your ears off. My kind of lady. Okay. Go okay. Help Lord Rugdump and wipe that smile off your face. Okay. Hey, uh, do you mind uh, sleeping? Would you mind sleeping? Cuz uh Yeah, 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 yeah. Blah blah blah. We already read uh, that Greetings text. So now we would take sun damage. So yeah. Just go to sleep, uh Burr is my man or uh, you killed. And I'll just, you know, have a bite. Hell yeah. All right. So that's out of the way. Let's go. Uh, let's go do some quests. The, no the noble's daughter. So that's actually real close to Fanakas where... We went to in a previous episode and okay, I thought I crashed. <laughs> oh, oblivion. That uh, that orc man uh, has some gold. It's awesome. He has a really dumb name though, Rugdumpf. Like, okay, okay. Anybody home? Yep. That's a nice house you got there, my boy. Ah, you are from the Fighters Guild, I resume. Good show. I am Lord Rugdumpf Groshergak. Let us conversate on the Lady Rogbot. Okay, what about her? I fear that whilst out rock picking, she was apprehensive. Stolen away. My suspension is <laughs> ogres have objected her. Please search to the east of my sprawling abode. They have been known to vacate these premises. I am most gracious and truly woeful. You, you give orcs a bad name, my man. That's funny, though. <laughs> I am Lord Rugdump Groshergak. How may I persist you? <laughs> okay. Orger, as you say. Horrible creatures, replete with horror and evil. They roam freely eastward of the estate. I look forward to you exterminizing them. <laughs> okay. That's funny, like, you can't talk. And I saw that uh, behind your back, my man. That's an urn room. Let me just pluck it out of uh, your pot there. Because uh, I'm interested in that. Real interested. All right, so that's funny. Like that orc can't talk to save his life. Like he tries, he tries. You know, I appreciate the effort, though. Fake it until you make it, my orc. One day you will be part of the noble society. I'm sure of it. All right, so he mentioned ogres. 
which uh, a couple of minutes ago I would have been like, oh my god, or oh, two ogres. Okay, never mind. I was gonna brag. No, not my horse. No. Oh no. Oh, that is a lot of ogres. Okay, so. Alright, my boys, I think we can all chill now. I will just leave my horse here, because uh, I value its life. I'll leave it behind the estate there. I have a quick save, because I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, a woman's running there. Is that Lady Rockbutt? Yeah, okay, so there's three ogres in here. So let's just... Let's circle around them. Oh, that's good. That's that's all right so far. The tactics, though. One down. Hell yeah. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm stuck on something. I'm on something. Okay. Okay. So there's one ogre that I I don't know where he is. I don't like that. Is he attacking my horse? No, my horse seems to be okay. Oh! He does some big damage. Uh, okay, okay, boy. Oh, shh. Hmm. Let's heal. Okay, there's the big boy. Alright, so we will kill him real quick. Stop staggering me. Are you... He's going for my horse! No! No! Oh my god! Leave him! <laughs> you guys are so evil! Jesus! He did nothing wrong! Go after me, not after my mount! This is like an escort mission for my horse! <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, come over here. Give me attention. Hell yeah, all right. I can take you. Stop! What's the obsession with my horse? God damn it. You're dumb. Yeah. But you're really dumb. I don't mind that much, but you're really fucking stupid. Okay, I was scared for my life and from my horse's life. Damn, I have killed the ogres who kidnapped Lady Rockbutt. I should now escort her back to her father's estate. Alright, so where is she? I definitely saw her running somewhere. Oh, my horse wasn't looking uh, too hot there. He definitely took some damage. Okay, so I think she fled in a cave? Is that it? Come on, horse. In a camp or something? King's Crest Cavern. Alright, she's in there. Uh, that's, uh, that's a wolf. You okay, wolf? Okay. Uh, that wolf wasn't uh, wasn't wasn't down for a fight. Is uh okay. Oh, you're there. Glad you killed those things. I'd have done it myself, but apparently that's not ladylike. <laughs> Let's get back to my father. Okay. Okay. Please. Get on with it. Sure. Uh, we won't be uh, checking out that ca cavern because, uh, to be honest, I don't think there's anything worthwhile in there. So, are you following me, uh, lady? Yeah? All right. Let's just fast travel back to your father. Huh? That'll be way quicker. Hey, my man, I got your daughter, and she is fine. You found my belabored daughter. <laughs> belabored. I will tell Burr's Grogash about your indentures. 
take this. It has been passed in my family for many generators. Okay. Okay. What is it? Anon us most soon again, forsooth. What? Rungdumpf sword. Is that a good sword? Or is it a dumb sword? Absorb speechcraft five points. Silence for his five sex on strike. Oh, wow. It looks really cool, though. Is that a unique model? I've never seen that sword in the game. Look at that. That's awesome, though. Hell yeah. Uh, I don't think we'll be using it, though. Let's repair everything just to be sure. So it's 8 attack damage compared to 9. Yeah, we'll still be using our uh, Claymore of Dispel. It will fetch a good price though. I'm happy about that. So now we can go back to Chin Hall and turn in that quest. And I think that will be all Burrs will ever have to give us. Good, because uh, he's not the friendliest of orcs, you know? He has kind of an attitude problem. You need to go find Lady Rogbutt, Meat. Shut up. You got her back in one piece. Good work. I've always liked that girl. May have to look her up sometime. Here's your payment. All right, Burrs. You have any more contracts for I've us? I've got one more for you, Oh, Meat. okay. I assume you can handle it. I need you to investigate some disappearances at Harlan's Watch. Okay. Uh, before accepting that quest, though, this is where we will end today's episode. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. It really does help the channel. And on that note, guys, I will be seeing you in the next episode of Oblivion. Have a good one.